So a lot of people don't believe in love because they don't see examples of the type of love or relationships that they truly want. Um, and the love, I mean, I could start crying right now. The love that you guys have truly is, I've never met a couple that I look up to more when it comes to the way you guys speak to each other, look at each other, hold each other, love each other, just have relation with each other. It's just so beautiful. So um, how do you two have this type of love? Is it chemistry? I see some tears in Amelia's eyes and Rachel. Um, or do you think it was ran random fate or have you worked toward creating this type of love? <laughs> that one. <laughs> go yeah. all the way back. You want to uh, go? I know yeah. Um, gosh. Yeah, I feel like um, it's a lifetime of work. You know, it's a whole it's a whole lifetime of um, learning and growing and falling and getting back up and um, praying and crying and 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 asking for help and um, and continuing to believe. I think mm -hmm. that's the biggest thing of just like. And belief is so powerful. And, you know, we talk about a lot of times this, um, this ladder of belief. And basically it's like, there's, there's such a different energy of like, you can have hope for something, right? You can hope that something could be possible. And then there's like, gets a little bit stronger. And then you have to have faith. And then you're in faith for a while. And then you're like, man, like I really believe this, but still sometimes the, the belief, the belief zone can still kind of come with that, like, Ooh, but then I fall into comparison sometimes or, Ooh, then I like, and even in that believing there's, there's still this, but it feels so far away. And then all of a sudden mm. there's this just knowing. Mm. And I think wow. my biggest hope for people is that you get into this knowing that like your person is out there and they yeah. are looking for you just as much as you're looking for them. Yeah. And it's not even a question of if it's just when, and it's yeah. really able to like, wow, like, mm -hmm. how can I, how can I find such joy and gratitude and bliss just within me so that I can like vibe so high and like be so grateful for every single breath. Like to the point where I'm like, man, like I don't have to pay an oxygen bill, you know, like to the point where you can get find joy in like the simplest littlest things of like feeling the sun on your face or feeling the wind on like or you know like learning how to really transmute a smile into abundance into cash you know or a hug you know when you when someone hugs you you're like wow I feel this feeling of love that means I'm that much closer to my love coming you know like totally. every of like the love that you share with a friend you know it's like it's just every little thing of like you know, and maybe even like writing, sometimes like I, you know, wrote letters of like gratitude and I would, I would have this experience every day that I, I take people like our clients through. I do this like future gratitude process mm -hmm. that has been one of the most powerful processes, not only for my life, but also in my client's life of, you know, things happen and then you get really discouraged. And even if you're like living in this knowing or belief kind of Kate, you know, almost to knowing, but like kind of going back and forth. Um, you know, you like sometimes feel so great. You feel so, you know, awesome. And then other days something happens, you know, you go on a bad date and you're just like, yeah, ah! mm -hmm. you know, you just feel so far. I think in those moments, it's so important to like close your eyes, take a deep breath, light a candle, put on some music, you know, whether you're working with a coach, obviously this is what we do with our clients is I'll lead them through a future gratitude meditation mm -hmm. where you are. I'm guiding you through, and this is what I did with myself when I would just feel so low of like seeing that person, you know, what does your home look like together? Like, what does it feel like when he's holding you? Like, what does it smell like? What does it taste like? Like what songs are playing? Like, and having them then describe it out loud to me and being there with that to, to hold and create that space. And the more I just made that so real for me. Yeah. And I remember even going through like really bad breakups when I was so confused and I felt like, what if I'm making the biggest mistake? What if this guy is my guy and I'm walking away from it and I'm ruining my whole life? Um, you know, but then I would go do these processes or like even like plant medicine to help me get, you know, just like kind of like get out of the, the cycle of like this loop mm -hmm. that I was in and just so powerfully see this essence of a guy that I knew I was supposed to meet. Like I just knew it. 